were your takeaways from your first game? Honestly, uh, I feel like we, as a team, we did, we did great. Um, for me, as a just as an individual, I feel like I was too antsy. Um, beginning the first second half, I was kind of too fast. You know, I wasn't following behind my pullers. Uh, just honestly, just just way too fast. Um, second half, I was able to slow it down, get better, and honestly, just be myself. Uh, so now I just needed to. Just focus on that. Just focus on doing what I've been doing this whole camp, and not trying to, you know, do extra stuff. So that's the whole thing that I, I took out from that game. Did you see that mid game, or did somebody kind of bring that to you? I knew it. I, I knew it because I'm like, I'm, I usually never slip. I'm wondering why am I slipping? Why am I, you know, missing holes? Like just, and I, I know I'm missing holes. But then I also when you know, Coach Kingsbury, it's, it's, it's great having him. Like it's, it's great having him because. He'll tell you straight up. You know, I went to him, I asked him, I said, what, what do you see from me? He was like, too fast. And I knew that in my head already. I'm like, okay, I'm going too fast. And then when Cliff he when he said that, I was like, I watched the film, and that's exactly what happened. I was missing holes because I was just a little too fast. Um, patience, a lot more patience needed to be. And I just know that this week will be a lot different because I've been you know, just having fun and doing what I've been doing this whole, the whole summer. Was that during the game you said that to you? During the game, during halftime. So, uh, if you rewatch the game and you watch after halftime when I start breaking more runs and slowing down, that was because I was, you know, took my coach out. Do you think it was just, it was just first game, you were a little bit amped first, up? Oh yeah, definitely amped up. I was so excited. I just wanted to, uh, you can't, when you're running back, you can't think about the big play every play. And I was just so antsy wanting the big play, but can't, you know, you gotta, you gotta take it step by step. Even with everything in life, you gotta take everything just day by day, you know, rep by rep. So I just gotta focus on taking everything rep by rep. Just take my time, slow it down, everything else will come. What was the feeling just kind of being part of an offense that put up yards and, and points the it way? It was amazing uh, seeing like everyone, like the whole, pretty much the whole offense was putting up numbers and it was amazing. You know, seeing young guys like Zach, you know, seeing Dorian, you know, seeing Austin do his thing, it was, Pretty cool. And I'm, I'm just excited to you know be a part of this team because there's so many things that we can you know fix and be better. And is you know the best is yet to come. Marshawn on a play, I think, pretty viral on Twitter. The pancake block you made in that, in that first game. Yes, sir. It seems like you kind of enjoy blocking. In, yeah. In general, I mean, how do you see yourself kind of fitting in? Definitely. To the room. In oh, the it's the same. What's it? It says no. Um, no rock, no blocky. No, yeah, no rocky, no blocker. So no blocky, no rocky. So yeah, pretty much. If you don't block, if you don't know how to block as a running back, especially nowadays. Like, and having Caleb next to me, like he's a, a valuable person on the team. If you won't, you can't block for him. You won't play. So I just take that. Like I've been taking that really important because it's something that I'm gonna need to have for the rest of like my career here and uh, you know later on. So if you can't block, you won't play. A lot of O line rotation uh, for that game. Does that matter to you guys as running backs? Or is it O line? Yeah, the O line just never, shuffling different. Never, because um, like right now, like as far as like like reps and everything, everyone throughout practice, everything gets switched around. So we're used to playing with you know different people all throughout. Everyone's you know you as good as your your the next player on the team. So we always you know switch reps and switch around, and it's 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 all good because everyone knows they're, they're exactly what they need to do, and it just go flows pretty good. What did uh, Coach Max say to you after your first game in the Coliseum? He said, patience. That's exactly what he said, patience. Um, there's a lot of things to work on. He's like, he told me straight up, like, you've been doing this the whole camp. And he said, slow down. Like, it's no need to try to rush anything. Slow down, get your pads down. And he told me the same thing. He said, after halftime, you were able to actually do that. Just start off doing that. So that's pretty much what he said. You, you've played in a lot of games. Was there a different feeling coming out for for this one, you know, new school and new honestly, situation. yeah, I just um, for me, I just I love you know I love being here. Um, I want to be able to contribute as much as possible, and um, I haven't played you know uh, since when I was at South Carolina. I haven't played, I didn't play the bowl game, so like this is like I'm still like missing football. You know, I, I missed the, the the bowl game and the, I think the, the game before that, and like I missed like five games before that. So I was already like I haven't played like since like. A long time, so it was just fun finally being back out there. So it's just something that I just need to, you know, just put my head down and keep going with. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.